Two uh, bits of evidence, however. The solicitor was seemed to be very technical in trying to throw out a lot of your affidavits. Uh, the solicitor seemed to be very technical all during the, the hearing this morning about uh, getting some of your affidavits thrown out and so forth. Uh, do you think that this hurts your argument in any way? Uh, I think not. Uh, he is the solicitor, and he has a right to be technical if, uh, that is, super technical if he desires to be, although I would submit that uh, this is not generally uh, what is uh, the relationship between counsel uh, in ordinary cases. You brought up the point that uh, some of the things you knew you were not legally right in asking for, you asked for them as a matter of courtesy. Is this the normal thing <coughs> in a court hearing? Excuse me. Uh, no, you will remember that insofar as the affidavits which the solicitor was submitting, uh, they were voluminous and uh, we technically are not entitled to a copy of them until such time as, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that, that heat, <laughs> until such time as they have been presented as distinguished from uh, the move-ant, he has to serve a copy. Those uh, making a rebuttal, they do not have to serve a copy. Uh, and so, of course, we asked for a copy as a matter of courtesy in as much as we presume that he had one and would make them available later. Mm -hmm. Technically, if he wanted to refuse to give them to us, to us at that time, why this was his privilege. Counsel don't usually react uh, quite so, huh, you know what I mean. Well, the judge doesn't take this into consideration in delivering his decisions, does he? I, I would like to not comment on what a judge takes into his decision. <laughs> Mr. Hollowell, in your plea for a new trial, you presented an affidavit from Preston Cobb stating that he had witnessed the murder but took no part in it. Uh, do you think this is going to be enough evidence to get you a new trial? Well, of course, uh, when the case is pending and is in the bosom of the court, you don't like to comment on whether you think that it will be enough. Uh, I would suppose that counsel would always hope that the ultimate objective would be reached, and our objective is to get a new trial. Being a solicitor general for some 11 years, I've learned that a lot of cases are won or lost on technicalities. Mm -hmm. Of course, if I thought he were innocent, I would not be nearly so technical. Mm -hmm. The uh, solicitor also tried to break down your one witness and uh, overhearing uh, Joseph Dumas's more or less confession that he committed the murder. Uh, do you think the character of this witness will hold up in court if you go back to court? We would certainly hope so. What do you feel are the strongest uh, points in your favor of getting a new trial? 
Well, I don't know that we're in a position to say at the moment because we have not had a chance to review all of the affidavits of the state. I think once we have reviewed them and then make a comparison with that which we have to submit and have submitted this morning, uh, we would be in a better position then to draw our conclusions as to what is the strongest point. Uh, I think when we have presented our account affidavits, we can show that he was not the first person who was present at the uh, injured man and that the other witnesses will have something to say on that. We feel that we have it covered. Well, in an event such as this where uh, the person accused is dead, uh, what effect does this have on it? Uh, to me, it's, it makes it more difficult to prove uh, in kind of affidavit form, of course, your best witness is dead. The person that Preston is accused of uh, committing this murder is now dead. Uh, what effect does this have on a, on a trial or a hearing? Well, to me, it makes it even more difficult to rebut. Uh, however, I think in this instance, we have covered this man the complete day of June the 1st, 1961, plus the fact that I think when we have our rebuttal testimony finished, we will have covered him even on the night that he was killed. Mm -hmm. Someone was with him most of the time. Uh, I think if it, it had happened the way Preston Cobb says it happened, he should have come forth long before now. And by waiting this long, I think the law does not look on it with favor, and I think the law is presented to the court will so hold. Well, in the event a new trial should be granted, do uh, you think that uh, there will be uh, sufficient uh, doubt to, to get him acquitted? Well, I don't even think along those lines. I face the problems as they come. Now it's the uh, fight off whether or not there will be a new trial. Mm -hmm. And I frankly do not believe that he will obtain it when all the facts are in. Well, uh, in another event, of course, you don't like to face these other events. Mm -hmm. uh, should he get off of the murder charge, uh, wouldn't he still face uh, prosecution on uh, stealing the man's wallet, spending his money, or charges such as that? Oh, yeah, all of those charges are there, but when you have several charges, we usually just uh, pursue the major crime. And don't worry with the minor ones. Uh, uh, would the minor ones be brought up should he get off on the more serious charge? Right. I don't know that, because now, as I say, my main problem is I don't anticipate him getting a new, new trial on this one. I think he's been shown to be guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, and that's what the law requires. I well, wouldn't wish to comment on what would happen in the event he is granted a new trial. What do you consider your most serious burden or the most serious thing that has been brought up today that you're going to have to knock down? I think everything has been covered today in the rebuttal uh, testimony except the one event at the scene of the wreck that the young Coleman Dumas was killed. Uh, we have witnesses there who I now know who I shall interview and obtain affidavits from those. I think they will show you that uh, they were first to arrive at the man and that they were with him until he died. So, uh, I doubt the, uh, not doubt, but I look upon the affidavit of the drive of the truck with, not as an unbiased affidavit, because first he's charged with a crime involving that wreck, and I understand he's also being sued by the family of the deceased man. Mm -hmm. So it certainly wouldn't be without uh, some degree of uh, unbiasedness. Well, the, the criminal charges being brought against this man uh, as a result of the accident, they would have no bearing on his testimony in court, would they? Uh, no, uh, except to show an interest or lack of interest. In, in any event, you have the right to look at any witness uh, in the light of whether or not he has an interest, and if so, what that interest may be. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Anything else? Okay.
at this point, do you feel optimistic? Uh, I always feel optimistic. Uh, if I didn't, I uh, wouldn't have brought it in the first instance. If a new trial should be granted, uh, are you hoping for a complete acquittal of it, or you, would you be satisfied with a life sentence instead of a death sentence? Uh, well, of course, according to the conventions that we are making, uh, the boy is contending that he did not do it, and certainly we would not want our man to get any time for that which he did not do, if in fact this is what the evidence uh, ultimately proves out. The solicitor said that he feels very optimistic and that uh, in asking for an extraordinary hearing, the burden is on your shoulders to prove everything, and he's sitting back and just trying to, to tear your argument apart. Do you feel that he is successfully tearing some of your arguments apart? Well, uh, here again, you must recall that we did not get the affidavits, although they were read. We didn't get them until after uh, they had been read, and this, of course, is according to law. And uh, I, I think that a much closer uh, review of them will have to be made before we can draw any conclusions on them. Mm -hmm. If a new trial uh, is denied, uh, what else is there left? Well, of course, there are always the appellate courts. You, you would appeal what? Well, I, I'm not saying what we would do, but I, I'm merely saying that uh, this is a legal uh, matter of the sort that can be appealed. And uh, uh, what we would do, we would have to determine at that time. In the solicitor's rebuttal to some of your arguments, he brought up that your witness that supposedly heard Joseph Dumas uh, confess to the, the murder of his father, uh, the solicitor said that this man is up for criminal charges himself, therefore his word isn't very good. Uh, what is your answer to this? <laughs> this man's statement and Preston's own statement, are these the only two uh, new parts of evidence that you're presenting? No, I mean, there, there were others which I think were in the affidavits which we submitted. We think that these are major poor. <clears throat> Solicitor, in the case of an extraordinary hearing such as this, the burden of proof is on the defense to prove that a new trial is warranted. Uh, do you think they did that this morning? I certainly do not. I think that as we know, extraordinary motion for new trial is not favored. Therefore, the court looks upon it with requiring more proof than an ordinary motion for new trial. Mm -hmm. I think they've utterly failed. They've come forth with a fantastic story, which I don't think any ordinary person can believe. Mm -hmm. Well, now, uh, during the hearing, you brought out the fact that uh, Preston Cobb's uh, testimony is of no value because he knew it before the original trial. Uh, it, Will the judge uh, throw this out? Oh, I cannot tell you what the judge might do, but in an, uh, the burdens upon anyone accused of crime to come forth with any defense he may have at the original trial. You can't hold it back and then use a little as you see fit. The law places upon him the burden to use it when he has it, when he knows it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you can't wait in an extraordinary motion for a new trial and come for the first time with new evidence which you knew all along, see. Are you optimistic or pessimistic that a new trial will be granted? Uh, I never express myself. I do the best I can and lead the decision to the court. You were awfully technical this morning uh, in trying to throw out affidavits and so forth. Is this just good law practice, or were these papers in bad order? Innoc he was innocent. Would you still be prosecuting? Uh, no, sir. Uh, solicitors have the re dual responsibility. They not only are supposed to prosecute the guilty, but also to protect the innocent. If I thought he were innocent, I'd go to any extreme to free him. How about the affidavit of the man involved in the accident where 
uh, Joseph Dumas supposedly admitted killing his father. Uh, how much credibility does this have? 